Hey Excrete, I just wanted to do a quick video because the, the tip that you mentioned for wiping your iPhone is a good tip because essentially if you're doing empty folders the same size then what you're essentially doing is overwriting the contents of the drive solid state drive with something that will be the same size so it's essentially overwriting all the bits not all all the bytes or all the megabytes it's essentially overwriting every single little bit on that drive now the problem with the tool that you suggested um was was that um the problem with the fix that you suggested was that it's difficult to get folders exactly the same size of all the content i mean ex exactly the same size so that every single bit's over it and it's virtually impossible to do that because some some of the data's hidden um what you can do i I was just reading it on um, the Apple blog here, and I'm just reading it straight off because I, I thought I thought there was a way of doing it, and it turns out there is. I'll leave the link in the description, but this is uh, for iPhone 2.0, and but by the time you're watching this, everyone should have upgraded to it. So if you have that, you can. Just go to settings, general reset, and then erase all contents and settings. That should erase everything on your device, and is certainly looking like a much better way of doing it than the way that you suggested. Now, some people say jailbreak and then install the BSD subsystem, and then. Um, I believe there's a tool where you can access your access your iPod or iPhone as if it was a normal drive. So if I can find that tool by the time I upload this video, I'll be sure to link that in the description because I think that will be a yet better way of doing it because you get rid of all the data and then if you could get it to um, recognize itself as an ordinary USB device you could even boot into DOS and do a secure and sec secure wipe that way and that will be even better um, so if I can find that tool I'll link that in the description and I'll also link um, the tool where I found the feature on the Apple ins Insider.com blog. I'll link that as well. So, thank you for watching this video. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and rate. Thanks for watching.